Hey guys, HM Racing here, back today with another video. So today we're not going to be taking the latest Assetto Corsa mod for a drive. We're not going to be memeing about on iRacing Fixed Series. No, today is something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. So for those of you who don't know, I currently race on a single 32 inch curved monitor. And while that's great, and I will continue to be racing on that, especially on stream, because I get to talk to you guys as well with the second monitor and all that, it just makes it so much more easy. Something I've been wanting to try in sim racing for a while is VR. Now, I haven't been able to justify myself spending 700 odd pound on a brand new HP Reaver, which don't get me wrong, is probably very, very great. I'm not going to see the money turn from that. I'm not going to see the use I'm going to get out of it. But it's something that I've been wanting to try for a very long time. So I was scrolling across Facebook Marketplace the other day when I came across a deal for a pretty decent Oculus Rift. Now, I know Oculus Rift and all the controversy surrounding them. I know it all, but I've been wanting to try VR for a very long time. And honestly, it was the best way into it. So I messaged the guy, we made a deal and well, here we have my first VR headset. Now I'm not actually very experienced with VR at all. In fact, the first time I ever used it was about hmm, 20 minutes ago trying to set this up and uh yeah so i've literally just spent the last hour or so just setting it up getting used to it walking around doing the walking around stuff in vr uh before heading over to iRacing to uh, try and set it up in the car so it was actually pretty easy to set up to be honest literally just plug and play plug it all in get it all set up load into a session have your recent uh button mapped move all your UI out the way and away you go. It's pretty easy to drive. Now, I actually haven't driven at all yet. I've sat in the car and got it all centered and got it all ready. But I thought it would be cool to bring you guys along uh, on my first journey into, well, VR sim racing. So I'm going to load into a test session. Now, I've been trying to figure out what to drive because I've heard things about motion sickness. So flat tracks is generally the uh the best thing to go for and i didn't want anything too quick so gt3s are at monza this week and that's probably gonna be my best bet very flat very straight lines probably easy to get used to um and gt3s are generally well slower compared to uh, something that i'm usually racing like the lmp2 or formula one car so without further ado i'm gonna jump into the session now and i will see you all on the track in virtual reality that's gonna be weird uh okay so here we are uh about to jump into the car now one thing i hate about having to wear glasses is literally the fact that i have to like take my glasses off and do all that shenanigans so let's put on the vr headset and okay here we are in virtual reality now i've got to find my there it is. Uh, and try and get this over the top so we can hear. There we go. Right. So, okay, this is pretty weird. I'm sort of in the grass right now. Uh, right. Test drive. And then reset center. Okay. This has saved my controls for this car. Lovely. So, literally, to get VR ready, you literally just come over here, hit recenter, map it to a button on your wheel. Jump into the car, press test drive, and well, here you are in virtual reality. So, uh, yes, uh, well, that's my mic. So, uh, here we are in the car, and this is pretty cool. Like, almost reach out and touch the ceiling. Uh, <laughs> virtual mirror up there, we can. Well, oh, I need to turn my uh, in car mirrors on. That's something I do need to do. So, uh, mirrors are set up. This is going to be pretty weird. My first ever drive in VR. Now, I do not know what to expect. That is running at 40 FPS. That is not what I want to see. So, revving the engine and, yeah. Turning the wheel. Whoa, that is weird. That is weird. Whoa. Like, you're accelerating, you're driving. But 
you can't feel anything. This is so odd. So check the mirrors coming out of the pit lane. And uh, let's floor it. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, I... Jesus, this is crazy. It's like I'm driving. I'm at Monza. Whoa, my head just went really weird there. This is a completely different experience. I have never felt anything like this in my life. The track feels so much bigger. Like, it feels so wide. You're so low. You're in the car. This is... Whoa! I've never seen any of these details before, and I need to really boost my performance on my PC. There we go. There's ATFS. Whoa! This is crazy. I am... Like, look at that. You're seeing the whole track. This is crazy. I'm turning the wheel, and I'm expecting my body to do that, but nothing's happening. Like, you expect the G-forces. Your body prepares you for it, but... You don't feel it. This is... Like, I feel like my head's gonna go back and forth when I turn the wheel, but nothing's happening. Turning it through the first Lesmo, and then flooring it again. Getting up to speed. Your body feels so weird and under braking. You expect your body to be thrown forwards under braking, but nothing happens. Let's give it some down the uh, back straight, shall we? Heading under the bridge. Track dropping away from you. Through the compression. Whoa! And then turning it in to Ascari. But you can see so much more of the track. You can see where the apex is. You just turn in and as you... Oh, I keep hitting my mic there. As you keep doing the direction change, your whole body expects you to be doing that. But you don't. You sit where you are. This is pretty damn crazy. This is going to take a lot of getting used to, put it that way. Before I can reasonably get up to speed and push in VR. I need to, like, get my body used to this. Right, let's give it some out of Parabolica, shall we? Up to speed, third gear, fourth gear. The track just feels so much more open. Like, so much wider than you expect it to be. Okay, I need to slow down a bit. My stomach is churning. Whoa. This is pretty crazy. You can see absolutely everything. Like, when we get to the first chicane, I'm going to take it nice and slow. But you can just see, like, the curves, you can just about see where they are. You can look into the corner before the apex. Before giving it a bootful out of the corner. And then up to speed we go through the curve of Grande. That is so weird. That is so weird. You have no idea unless you've tried VR what this actually feels like. Right, let's give it some into the braking zone. Like, you turn it in and you just expect your body to be shifting around in the seat, but nothing's happening. Into the first of the two Lesmos. Whoa! Bit of oversteer there. Second Lesmo, you can just see the apex. Coming way before you can on a single monitor. Single monitors you can see up to sort of the pillar halfway through the screen. In VR you can see absolutely everything. This is so cool. Into Ascari we go. Oh, bit of understeer. Oh, we're off into the gravel. And around we go. Including my first crash in VR. That's... That's pretty insane. Oh, I've got to... I've got to step out of this for a couple of seconds. Wow. Wow. Oh, my. That's... That's pretty damn cool. Ooh. Right, so I've done a little bit more testing, sort of uh, got used to VR a little bit more. So let's go for a sort of a flying lap here. 
Uh, I'm not even on a Monza setup for this car. I'm literally on like a Bathurst setup for 12 hour. But uh, here we go, I guess, across the line to start a uh, semi flying lap here at Monza. So we can see right ahead, right into the chicane. And there's the 300, there's the 200, break about the 150. Nice and hard on the anchors. A bit early on the brakes, really, but you can see where the apex is perfectly. There's no guesswork when you get to the apex where it is. You can just peer out. You can just peer out of the window and look at the track just flying past. Through the curve of Grande we go. Hugging the inside up to sixth gear. Break. My normal braking markers are around the orange uh, of the edge of the barrier. Down to second gear. Turn it in. Uh, I need to be using more of that inside curb there. Car bouncing around all over the place. It's, I I mean that drinking game. But tell me how many times I say you can see everything. Or wow, this is really good. Uh, you'll be absolutely blackout drunk by the end of uh, half a lap, I think. Through Lesmo two we go. You can really you can see how much you can exit on the uh, exit of the corners. You can see how much you can push the uh, outside barriers of the track. Like the whole track has just become something completely different much wider than driving on a screen down into a sky we go you can see right where the uh, anti-cut curbs are you can almost feel where to place your front wheels on the exit of the corners just fuel left i think it must be still on a qualifying set then i'm guessing but that doesn't matter you just see everything this is ah uh, down into the curve of grande completely missing the apex there but you get a feel you get so much more of a feel for where the car is compared to, like, the outside of the track. And across the line we go. Let's go for one more lap. A 1 minute 50. Exactly. What's the chances of that? So let's try and push it a bit into the uh, braking zone at T1. Brakes are 154. So just after the braking zone. Oh, we sailed off. And then, oh, oh, that's weird. That's weird. Hitting across the curbs. That's, uh, that's an odd sensation. We'll uh, ignore the slowdown. But uh, we've got one lap of fuel left, so let's bring it in. Let's do a uh, pit entry, shall we? Just to clear that black flag quickly. Oh, once again. Oh, that's an odd sensation. Fly. That's, that's a new one for me. But, like, you just get so much more immersion. That's the word. Just the immersion of driving. You can... Feel I right now I'm in this Lambo I'm in this GT3 car I'm at Monza I'm not sitting in my bedroom shouting at a screen I am sitting in this car right now this is it's gonna take some getting used to but when it does wow wow it's gonna be good right let's see if we can try and get a decent run for Ascari here we got low fuel nice and early on the brakes turn it in oh the understeer on entry this bad first set Really not designed for uh, the high-speed corners of Monza. Whoa, can't get a little loose on exit there. But you can just see in the mirrors. There you go. That's the Ascari Apex. You can just feel like you're driving a real car. That's This is so cool. And including stuff above that I've never seen before, right? Oh, big break down to the pit entrance but wow wow like i've never been on a real track before so like this is something completely new pulling into the pits doing all this wow i am truly truly astonished and whoa 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 okay that was weird that was weird Okay, go. Well, there we are, guys. That was my first experience with VR racing, and I am sweating. My face is... You're just sitting with one big heater on your face, basically. But, wow, that was like nothing I've ever experienced. The way you can just look, look ahead and see the apex. You cannot get that on a single screen. You cannot replicate that. Even with triples, you struggle. But with VR, you can look around the car and you can see everything. And yeah, that is 
That is pretty. Look at the smile on my face. That is awesome. And all other superlatives to go with it. But I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I have enjoyed making this. I'm going to be using that VR headset a lot. Just mainly get used to it. But that is an experience you can never, ever replicate without short of getting in a GT3 car and heading over to Italy and going to Monza. You, you cannot replicate. That is the closest you can get. And I can't wait to try out other Sims. A set of Corsa driving some Formula 1 cars. That's going to be so much fun. Classic cars, H-Pan cars, everything. I just want to drive everything I can. Every track in VR right now. And while that was just a, a really easy way to get into it, I didn't want to push myself with not much VR experience. But yeah. While the streams will be staying as a uh, single monitor racing, there's going to be a lot of videos coming with me in VR, and I can't wait to share that with you guys and share the excitement that I'm feeling right now. I mean, if you can, drive in VR. But all that's left for me to say is thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed, then I really appreciate it if you did leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you want to as well to see more VR content and more normal content as well. I do need to figure out, of course, how to get that better graphics because I can see the uh, literal 144p graphics. But all of that, I hopefully will be sorted for the next video. But all that's left me to say is thank you very much for watching. Have a really awesome rest of your day. See you all next time. Like, subscribe, comment, go follow me on Twitch and have a Discord in the link below. See you later, guys.